let's learn about functional equations this will be relevant for math olympiad and also for isi and cmi entrances you can check the toolbox in the link in the description to access more resources related to this topic and other topics for math olympiad isi cmi entrance or college mathematics so okay so today first talk about the basic concept see when we have an equation like this let's say x square minus 9 equal to 0 we are looking for numbers to replace x so find such numbers find such numbers when replaced in the position of x satisfies this equation this is how normal equations work how equations work so unknown quantity unknown quantity here are numbers in the case of functional equation the unknown quantity would be functions it's better explained with an example suppose we are given that f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y where the input values that is x y etc are integers so this is the information given about an unknown mysterious function f f is unknown at the moment okay so if f is unknown at the moment and we are just given this property of f naturally we are we would be curious to know which functions have this property and such functions such functions would be known as solutions to this functional equation so if we can find the functions that work that satisfies this condition those functions those functions would be known as solutions to this equation so there can, can be multiple such functions functions can be solutions okay i hope it's clear just like in this equation like normal equation both 3 and my negative 3 would be solutions similarly here multiple functions might be solutions might work might satisfy this condition okay so this particular example is also known as cauchy's functional equation cauchy's functional equation let's try to solve this so f of x plus y is given to be fx plus fy strategy one would be try particular values 
particular values. So what does that mean? It means that maybe we can try to find out maybe try to find f of 0. Of course, that won't give you the entire function. To know the entire function, you have to find out f of 1, f of 2 and so on. f of 1, f of 2, f of negative 1. For all integer inputs, you would want the value. But f of 0 is a starting point, so let's try to do that. So, x equals to 0, y equal to 0. Let's plug in that. So, we get f of 0 plus 0 is equal to f of 0 plus f of 0. I just plugged in x equal to 0, y equal to 0. So, this becomes f of 0 is equals to f of 0 plus f of 0. Of course, f of 0 is just a number so I can subtract it from both sides I can subtract f of 0 from both sides so if I do that I get the left hand side becomes just 0 and the right hand side has f of 0 so that's wonderful because now I know that the value of f of 0 is always 0 no matter what the function is there can be multiple functions satisfying this functional equation but whatever they may be f of 0 is always 0 and that we deduce just using the condition given that's great that's a good step towards solution the second thing that we can do that is strategy 2 odd and even functions maybe we can check if the function is odd or even what does that mean if f of x is equal to f of minus x that is the function is symmetric about x axis the function is symmetric like this. let's say its graph looks like this it's symmetric about y axis I'm sorry f of x is also is equal to f of negative x if this happens then we call this an even function even function and if f of x is equals to minus of f of minus x or maybe i can just put the negative sign here it doesn't really matter if this happens then we call it an odd function So it's like maybe something like this okay so f of x is negative of f of minus x so if you want to find out f of minus x this height maybe this height and this height are same but of course their signs are opposite it could happen of course a function can be neither odd nor even but if they are odd or even, there is a great advantage. You just have to calculate one side of the axis, y-axis, one side of the y-axis, maybe just the positive values of x you have to evaluate because then using this relation or this relation, you automatically get what happens on the other side, what happens for negative x. So I just put a caution here. A function can be neither even nor odd. So here is a question for the listener. Can you find a function which is not even or odd? You can go to the toolbox or in the comment section you can also put it your answer and we will be able to respond to that 
find a function that is neither even nor odd okay all right so let's come back to the functional equation that we have here f of x plus y equals to fx minus fx plus fy sorry so plug in y equal to negative x so let's see what we get so f of x ne negative x is equals to f of x plus f of negative x okay so the left hand side this is f of 0 which we already know is 0 x minus x is 0 so f of 0 and then we already found that f of 0 is 0 that's great because we now know 0 is equals to fx plus f of minus x which means negative of fx is equals to f of negative x which basically means that the function is an odd function great so if we can just compute it for positive integers if we can compute it for positive integers we can indirectly compute it for negative integers as well for example if we know f of 5 let's say f of 5 is 300 maybe or 3000 so we can easily find out f of negative 5 which is just negative of f of 5 which is negative 3000 so we do not have to separately worry about the negative integers if we can just find out it for, find it out for positive integers we are good all right so now the question is how to find for positive integers okay so of course we do not know what is f of 1 at the moment so let us do one thing this is a general strategy assume this is strategy 3 may you can call it assume f of 1 is equals to c this is a general technique that people often use to assign some constant value for particular inputs it helps us to judge other inputs relative to this one so let's I'll, I'll explain what what i mean so if we plug in one and one here I get f of 1 plus 1 is equals to f of 1 plus f of 1 so f of 2 is equals to 2 times f of 1 which is 2 times c so what we could see is that if we doubled the input the output also doubled similarly f of 3 is simply f of 2 plus 1 which is f of 2 plus f of 1 now f of 2 is 2c f of 1 is c so this is 3c so f of 3 is 3c now can you show by induction that f of k is c times k where c is equal to f of 1 if we can do that then for all positive integers k we have found f of k of course this function will depend on the constant c this function will depend on the constant c how it will look like maybe c is 3 maybe c is 4 maybe 3 is 2.1 who knows but given a value of c which is the value of f of 1 we can find a function in fact we found all functions that satisfies this functional equation this one so the functional equation solution the family of solutions let me go to a new page the family 
of solutions is f of x is equals to constant times x where c is equals to f of 1 and this could be any real number we don't know what it is of course if we know all the output values are real numbers okay so this particular family of solutions work only for integer inputs because that's how we compute it right not all values of x but only when x is integer x is integer in the next video we will talk about the case where x is a rational number it's a very exciting world um, you can check the toolbox or you can check chinta.com for direct programs on math olympiad isi entrance cmi entrance we have assembled a great team here you should also check the chinta teams page to see who are the people working at chinta some of the best kids from all over the country and abroad uh, keep on doing great mathematics. I will see you in the next video.